in this screencast I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own tests. Creating your own tests is going to be very useful for assignment 2 and 3. Now remember that assignment 2 and assignment 3 use a bunch of user space programs to do most of the testing. These programs can be found on the user land test bin. As you can see there's quite a few programs here although in assignment 2 we only use a subset of these. To know exactly which programs we used for testing assignment 2, you can look at the assignment 2 target file. Alright, to create your own test, first you create a directory with the same name as the test. In my example, I'm going to create one called my test. Once this is done, you copy files from an existing test into your new directory. Now, you modify the make file to change the name of the program and the sources that are going to be compiled as part of this program. So I'm going to call this my test and I'm going to rename this to my test.c. Once this is done, we also need to change the name of the source file to reflect what we what we inserted into the make file. So we do that. Now, all that needs to be done is change the modify the content of the source file to reflect whatever you want to test. In this case, I'm just going to do something as simple as print a hello world. So I'm going to get rid of all of this code and replace it with a simple hello world. All right. Now, by default, the OS161 GCC has a W error flag enabled, which complains W warning flag enabled. I'm sorry, which complains when you have unused variables. So we're going to get rid of these two variables as well. Save the file and do a bmake. As you can see, bmake completed successfully, and if I do a bmake install, this test will be installed in my root directory. Now, unfortunately, what, uh, there is one additional step that needs to be done to make sure that this test is compiled every time when you do a bmake in the root OS161 directory. To do that, you go into test bin and modify the make file in there. As you can see here, it defines all the various directories into which uh, the root bmake has to go and run a bmake. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add our test here. And now we should, if we run a bmake here, it will compile our test as well. So this is how you create your own test inside OS 161.